I once heard a professor say that a danger of incorporating the concept of apatheia found in the Greek fathers into the lives of Christians is that it would lead to a bunch of apathetic, meaning disinterested or indifferent Christians. Not wanting to lead that particular discussion down a divergent path, I left his statement alone. But it did make me reread what St. Maximus the Confessor had to say about apatheia. The problem with this misunderstanding, other than it's wrong, is that a potentially significant source for the understanding of the Christian life is missed. One of the reasons that St. Maximus' use of apatheia can be confusing is the lack of an English word that takes in the full meaning of St. Maximus' usage of the word. In the English translations of St. Maximus's works, there are several different words that are used for apatheia. These can include dispassion, passionless, dispassionate, and detachment. Most of the English translations do point to a close relationship between apatheia and passion. St. Maximus defines a passion as an impulse of the soul contrary to nature. Since it is contrary to nature, it is also foreign and does not belong to nature. For St. Maximus, nature is to be understood as the love for and movement toward God. The exact opposite of this is self-love. Love of God is natural and self-love is unnatural. Self-love is the mother of all passions. It is self-love that causes an impulse of the soul contrary to nature. It is Adam's self-love that resulted in the choice of sensual pleasure over spiritual pleasure. So now his natural capacity for spiritual pleasure has been distorted and bent towards sensual pleasure. Humanity was created with an unquenchable desire for God, which has been turned inward by the misuse of self-determination. As a result of this misuse, humanity now has an unquenchable desire for the self. Not only does self-love seek out sensual and sensible pleasure, self-love also seeks to avoid pain and death. Since the fall of humanity, life is controlled by seeking pleasure and satisfaction out of self-love or by avoiding pain and death to preserve ourself because of our self-love. Though passions are like dangerous drugs that become addictive and a person cannot control or get rid of them alone, St. Maximus believes that the passions can be redirected toward God. Apatheia is that process where the love of self, the mother of all passions, is redirected by the love of God to the love of God. By this transformative love, the passions are transfigured. What was natural, meaning spiritual pleasure, is reinstated over and against sensual pleasure. Through apatheia, the passions can be purified and be reincorporated into the whole human being when itself is consumed by a passionate love for God. Regarding this possible redirection of love, St. Maximus writes, The passion of love, when reprehensible, occupies the intellect with material things, but when rightly directed, unites it with the divine. For the intellect tends to develop its power among those things to which it devotes its attention and where it develops its powers. There it will direct its desire and love. It will direct them, that is to say, either to what is divine and proper to its nature or to the passions and the things of the flesh. St. Maximus is saying that if love is directed toward God, it will become divine love and receive its power and direction from God and will be developed to the things of God. But the converse is also true. If love is directed towards the self, then its power and direction will come from fleshly desires. So let us heed the words of St. Maximus the Confessor and redirect our passions back to God, supplanting the love of self with the love of God. Mm -hmm.